Welcome back. This is the Now Morning Show. Good morning to those of you joining us on Facebook. I am seeing you. I'm seeing you. But right now, we are talking to Dorinda Devine. Those of you who follow the show, you would remember she was here just a few days ago and she made mention of the use of the word nice. And since then, we've been doing our best to eliminate that word. Uh, Rockus actually looked it up and saw that it actually does, in fact, mean ignorant. I think that's what uh, Dorinda Devine said the last time she was here. So I'm very happy to launch this segment, which is called The Power of Our Words. Good morning and welcome to you. Salutations. Yes. Salutations. I like that. I like that. So, you know, I was so excited. I was upstairs in the studio control when you were here last, and I was so excited because I'm like, yes, yes, that is it. That is, that is what, you know, I live. I live. I'm, I don't think I know everything because I certainly didn't know that nice was a word that had negative connotations or yeah. derivatives, right? Yeah. So in terms of understanding that language helps us to create our future and how the words that we use we can collapse our action we can collapse our words into action uh, where do we jump off for the new year already so what you can do is homework for yourself i like to do, tell people try to do mirror work mm -hmm. 20 things you like about yourself 20 things you don't like about yourself, 20 things you'd like to change. I'm writing, eh? Right. 20 things. Oops, 20 oops, things. I get it excited. Yes. 20, 20 things, things right? 20 things you like about yourself, right. 20 you don't like, and 20 things you'd like to change. You could always change the figures, right? Right. right. You need mm -hmm. a wash rag, mm -hmm. you need a pen and a book, mm -hmm. and you need to be alone. A wash rag because you're going to cry? Yes. Okay. There is no one that ha has ever done that exercise that didn't fall down. Mm -hmm. I always tell them, try to sit on a chair. You can't look at your nose or your mouth or your cheek. You have to look into your eyes. Mm -hmm. And one question may take a month. All right? And, and some so people say... it's a lot say, of introspection. Right. Mm -hmm. Because we are not aware that why we are upset with other people's words, we're upset with ourselves. So when you ask yourself that question, whatever question it is that you need to ask yourself, to thine own self be true. Mm -hmm. Right, and many of us, we brush those things away. Mm -hmm. You have to face yourself before you can face anyone. It's like you're in a relationship and you broke up. Mm -hmm. You cannot go into another relationship unless you've done work on yourself. Mm -hmm. When you're okay being alone, you can then introduce someone into your personal life yeah. and space, yeah. right? Yeah. The only way that you could enjoy anyone mm -hmm. is if you know all of them. The full nakedness of a person is the truth of who they are when they're standing in their truth. Mm -hmm. and, and the best person to start with is you. Yourself. Yeah. So knowing words, power of words, we are aware now, if you look up singing affirmations, <coughs> you realize why certain people love Trinbegonian's accent. We sing, speak, right? Mm -hmm. Sing, speak, just like acting. Mm -hmm you allow for the frequencies to be matched. That invisible thing that you are not aware of. Yeah. Like I explained the last time, we are not matter. We are energy yeah. in matter. Yes. Right? And the matter, Everything in life is energy. Right. Every right. single uh -huh. thing. So mm -hmm. once you understand that I need to be on the frequency for money, mm -hmm. then you have to think differently. For love, you think and feel differently. Each one has a different vibration. Yeah. Just like every color has a vibrational yes. frequency. Yeah. Right? So sometimes you tell yourself, I don't like red. And I say, you should wear red because it will do a lot for you. You are not coming to terms with that. Mm -hmm. So words have frequencies. We know the power of the word lies in your tongue. Yeah. We know that the spoken word would come from a void and manifest into a physical. But before we came on air, you said you had to believe. And you just said the power of the word comes from the tongue. And I'm going to say that you have to believe in the words that That's you say. That's right. And you have to own it. Own the intentions yeah. behind it. All right, so you know that a lot of quantum physics are telling you now the feeling is the secret. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, what does that mean? If you feel something, like if you want something in life and you have a group of friends, all you need to do is do the acting out of what you want and let them role play you. Yeah. Right? Okay. Let them ask you the questions mm -hmm. that you would like to be asked. Mm -hmm. 
to manifest what you want. But you know what I think about that, though, is that sometimes you say, if you desire, keep your desires to yourself, because not everyone would be in the same uh, vibe. Exactly. That's why I say friend. Yeah. So you just made a valid point. Yeah. There's no higher title in the universe than that of a friend. Mm -hmm. Who is your friend? But how do you know? You must know. We must know. I am privileged, not everything, that I do have people who would tell me if I'm being nasty. Yeah. And they are the ones that you admire and the ones that you're very happy with. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that are true. All right? Mm -hmm. You don't need people around you. I can't say the word. To be kissing everything that isn't good about you. Yeah. You don't need it. And you know that. Because I told someone the other night, when you lay at night and you recollect your day, you're going to have to study every word that you used and how it made you feel. And just in that Thea stage, which, uh, which is what I was explaining of Alpha, Delta, Beta, Thea, yes. you're going to have to pay attention because that's where your consciousness is going to come to life and tell you, Lisa, you weren't a pleasant person today. Mm -hmm. There's no one judging you. It's mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks it's God. Mm -hmm. The word God comes with absolute. Absolute can't change. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. So God is love. Mm -hmm. You are the one that's making the choice mm -hmm. to do the things you are doing which means you carry the I am, mm -hmm. the most powerful two words. Once you recognize it. You have and to, you live whether in or not, remember in the Bible state. is three stages of sin. And yeah. what is sin? Mm -hmm. To make. Because the word sin, if you look it up, you see is to make your mark. So what are you sinning on? Yeah. You know, they never teach you the history and the meaning of a word. So where do you find the history and meanings of words? You word? just look up, when you open your phone, just yeah. look up, just put exactly that the yeah. history and the meaning of nice the history and the meaning of beautiful and how do you know because you know you're going you through see, life you would see 1500 bc you would see a yes, thousand yes but but dorinda you're going through life and you're using words like nice and you're thinking these are wonderful words you know they're explaining great states of being how do you know which words are again how do you know how do you know that you will look lovely the way you are today you paid attention the feeling that's right it's the feeling right yeah. you have to pay attention to what is being said and how it's making you feel mm -hmm. right and if you we all know lisa sincerely if i am speaking honestly with you i know that i'm in a good place mm -hmm. however if i'm not you're going to feel it, and you're yeah. not going to be happy in my presence, and yeah. I'm not going to be happy in yours. Now that's another conversation altogether. Yeah. When you're talking aura and that sort of thing, You have right? to because it, it comes into being. Like yeah. if I write an affirmation when people ask me. Now we have five senses. Your yeah. sight, smell, taste, touch, hearing. Yeah. Feeling is the secret. You need to get into those five senses yeah. with the words that you've done. So you want to write an affirmation for Lisa. And then you write, I am Lisa Correct. B. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. And I am thankful gratitude yes. that I am, and you write yes. all the things. Yes. Now, the things that you write down, you now go and check to see if they're good for you. There you go. I just wanted to know, because you do your affirmations. You know, yes. I am energy. I am, you know, what powerful. Type of energy? I am right. Right. So I you am need, positive energy. Right. Yeah. And you need negative and you need positive. You do? Yeah. We are negative, male are positive. Yeah. So people use, again, the word negative in a bad. Yeah, because I just said earlier that yeah. I get rid of every negative thought, meaning no, negative you, towards... Ill intention. Correct. That's right? what so I meant that, by negative. Again, the power of the word. Ah. Misusing certain words cause us not to receive. If the female is the negative energy and the male is the positive, yes. right? Yes. We're the plug. Yeah. You have to understand where you lie in the world of energy. You're not a bad negative because yeah. we are oracles. Yeah. We were the ones chosen to bring life from an invisible to a visible. Right. So we are very important. And the mm -hmm. age of Aquarius is here. Yeah. And the awakening has begun three years ago. Mm -hmm. So once you understand that all of a sudden you're hearing this word, I'm woke, I'm woke. And I, I kind of don't like to hear it because <laughs> I was like, you didn't woke, you are awakening. Yes. There's a big difference yeah. in every time and every day you learn something new. Mm -hmm. So someone asked me, how do I change? You have 21 days to change the way we think. Yes. Right? Medically, scientifically, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if you train yourself You repeat now, the affirmations for 21 days, yes. And you play while you're sleeping because yeah. your subconscious mm -hmm. is the female. You know, I'm kind of nervous about those things on YouTube. You know why? Because when you're sleeping, I think that it's your subconscious well, and you're you not up, sure. Do it when you're up. 
Okay, right? Yeah. You have Louis Hay, you have a lot of good vibrational frequencies. Mm -hmm. When I have had certain days that are chipping at my crystal, my soul, there are certain affirmations I would play, right? Mm -hmm. And it would allow my subconscious to remove mm -hmm. whatever was fed it that mm -hmm. day. So we have a lot of persons who are looking on and probably thinking, no, what's all this? Is this new age? How does this, how do I juxtapose this with my faith, my religion? What do you say to those all people? All right, so that is why the last time I spoke about Florence Coversion, mm -hmm. I never got it, Dr. Joseph Murphy. You have Dr. Joe Dispenza, he's a neurologist. Mm -hmm. All right, if you ever listen to Dr. Joe Dispenza, he is a science doctor that had a very horrible experience where a trailer mm -hmm. knocked him down right. doing the marathon. And of course he knew, being in a coma and everything, you can't come back, he's crippled. However, that voice in his head told him, you know how to knit everything back, fix it. So when you hear what he has to say, just like the doctor who had the white raft and that was dead for a little while, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're aware that your higher consciousness will yeah. kickstart you. Yeah. Now for people who know me, the reason why I am the way that I am, I've had eight heart operations and a hysterectomy for cancer. Wow. You have to learn to know how to kick ass and not have your ass kicked. <laughs> And it is extreme. And I'm allowing you to say that word right. on national TV. Right. <laughs> right. So because it's so powerful. It is yeah. the truth. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. When somebody, my doctors would tell you, I can't have anesthesia. Yeah. I have a third degree yeah. heart block. Yeah. So if you give me anesthesia, that's it for me. Mm -hmm. However, in meditation and believing in myself and believing in the power of the highest consciousness, you could bust my chest open. Mm -hmm. Because I know pain is temporary. The same way how you believe that death is final and yeah. isn't. Every time yeah. somebody say, you know, so-and-so die because I'm yeah. dealing with that all the time. Mm -hmm. I said, well, take it from someone who's died several times. Yeah. It's really beautiful there, and here's where you feel. Very powerful words. You really, know, we're out of time. Yeah. We did extra time, and we're out of time, but yeah. really powerful, powerful words. And words that I live by and yeah. can testify. Believe in you yourself. Know? And I, I'm still learning because yeah. you're teaching every day. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys, we're out of time. We're going to come back. It's time for entertainment news with Ayinka. I think we're going to have Dorinda Devane back again. I think we're going to have you back again. This is a long journey. And it's the start of the new year. So why not? All right. So let's take in a few messages. Come right back after this.